Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start on the rear disc brakes of a 1963 Willys pickup. And how we're going to start out is by removing that nut there, and then behind that is going to be a washer, and the hub is connected to the drum, and that's a keyed hub. So you'll pull that off and then make sure you don't lose that key that's on there. Um, and then behind that we'll have to remove the backing plate. Okay, so I removed the hub. And then there's going to be six bolts that hold that backing plate on. So then you want to undo that, remove that backing plate. And remember, you got to take your uh, brake line off too. It's really hard to take that backing plate off. Here's a view of the spindle after the backing plate is removed. And while you're taking that all apart, you're going to find this spacer here that is approximately 3 16 to a quarter inch thick. You're going to want to save that so that when you go to make a caliper bracket, um, it'll be a lot easier lining up all your holes and everything. Alright, I got everything taken apart and cleaned up and I got the backing spacer back on there. I'm getting ready to put my caliper bracket on, which I made a template and got all the holes drilled out for that. And if you need a template like that, subscribe to my channel and send me an email or just a link on the page and I can go ahead and email that to you. Uh, that'll give you something to start with at least when you go to put yours together. I recommend going with quarter inch steel because then you won't need a washer on the back side of the caliper bracket. But I'm going to go ahead and get this going and I'll show you what it looks like with that on. Okay, I got the caliper bracket mounted and it is replacing this spacer here which measures between 3 16 and quarter inch. I went with 3 16 but if you go with quarter inch, you won't need the washer on the back side of this to shim out for the caliper bracket. So I would recommend going with quarter inch, but since I've never done it before, that's what I went with. And since that's going to be replaced, then this piece here is going to go on next, and then this piece here will go on next, and then it'll be followed by the locking washers and the nuts that will hold all of that on. If you get the outer flange mounted on right here, we're going to put the rotor on, and we've already got that mounted to the new hub, and that's keyed, so you got to make sure that you get that on there correctly and put that key in there. But we'll go ahead and get this put on, and then get the caliper mounting bracket put on also. And right here, where the caliper mounting bracket is going to bolt on, we had to shim this out with two washers so that you can get the right clearance between the rotor and the caliper mounting bracket so that it doesn't rub on one side or the other. One thing that I've ran into on this project is that you're not going to be able to bolt this top bolt in up here yet because there isn't enough room to slide the caliper in between the leaf spring and the stud. So you have to only bolt the bottom one in and then slide it down and then you have enough room to slide the whole thing on here and then you'll have to bring it up and bolt the top one in after that. 